Hi, this is a demo of the panel that I'm building for my Clinchfield Model Railroad. Uh, it's based on the push button LEDs. Uh, you can see these push buttons and they have uh, LEDs built in. And uh, the lights, the green lights, they trigger, well, when you push the button, they, they trigger the uh, the route that uh, that is selected. So they're showing you what the route is selected and not if a block is occupied. And uh, I'm using the Team Digital hardware, which is on the inside. I'll show you... Uh, what that looks like uh, later and um, what happens is there has to be some smart setup where uh, you know the right uh, the lights will turn off the, you know if the route is like changed to another turnout like for instance uh, let's say I take this route over here so what happens is this route was part of that chain uh, but now it's no longer because it's going here so that light has to turn off same thing with the, this one if I turn if I select this one uh, this light should go off this one turns on. Again, back to this one. If I take this one, that light comes on. The others, these two, will be off. Uh, this, if I'm taking this route over here. Oh yeah, there's no. Uh, the wire is not connected. Uh, if I take this route, what happens is now it's it's changed, so it's no longer going up there. So those routes get cancelled. Uh, here, it's only a choice between these two. So if I put this one, this one will go off. This one still stays on. Uh, vice versa there. Same thing is over here in this case. This one will switch that one. Uh, these ones I think are not wired up. Uh, then here is the yard. So if I let's say I select uh, this track, so I'll take that route. But then I select th this route. Uh, I think that's one of the LEDs that I haven't wired up yet. Okay, I'll take this route. Then I'll switch to this route. You see, as I toggle through the routes, you hear them going, but then the lights also cancel out the other routes. Um, I'm not sure if this one is connected. The light, let's see. Yeah, this, uh, but there's a issue. It's also triggering this light, so I got to repair that. But then if I go down to, uh, so like this guy, see, his he will turn off. This guy will turn on, and if I select this guy, yeah, this guy turns off because it's using the same turnout over here. Vice versa, I push him there. If I go back to this one, yeah, he turns on, turns this guy off, but I get, there's, a, there's a problem between these two. This guy has to turn off. So basically, that's how that uh, that's wired all up. So I got to connect up a few more of these wires and lights. But then I also have the panel. What's neat about the panel is I have some. See down here, I have some switches that are that turn on different routes. I give them them numbers. So what happens is depending on which ones I press. Like let's say for instance, I'll press this P. You'll look at the panel here. See, and then the route P will turn on, which is that one on the top. If I press N, which is uh, this guy over here, I'll press N. See, that one will go off. I'll press the X, which is this route up here, which is, that switch is not working, but I think the light is working. Yeah, see, that'll switch that one. O, which is the one below it. See, that one will turn off. So what's neat is that this panel is being updated uh, from these push buttons here. This is why you don't use toggles, because then if you flip the toggle, you know, you can't, if you're relying on the fact that the toggle's up or down to tell you the direction, that's not good. You have to rely on the lights. Um, so what happens is there's this panel, then there's switch, but then there's also from the command station, I can call up routes. I'll call up, see, I have a command station here. Let's see, turn out um, 31 throw, we'll see. See that one turn, that one go, 31 close, the other one goes. So this, you know, you can control it from the command station, you can control it from the computer, you can control it from uh, the panel, all over the place. So, uh, and what's neat is if you build another one of these panels, because the way it's all connected is through this one uh, network jack, which is a, actually a local net jack and the power uh, connecting. I'm going to change this wire here so it's, it's all... Um, all on one cable so because uh, I have the power external um, but it'll be one network connect so I can unplug it see I'll unplug it 
you bring it somewhere else on the layout where you have a network uh, a uh, local net jack local net and power plug it in all the lights should come on and then they should go through the, a sequence and check what the locations were and start updating uh, and stuff some of them here are, I have to do some programming to change these lights they all get they do get reset if you turn the com the whole layout off and then turn it on then they all get reset uh, properly but here it's my issue is if I unplug it while the layout is still on go somewhere else plug it in then these guys tend to uh, stay on so that's just a matter of programming but once you get that all set up then uh, everything is is great the thing is if I build a second panel like this then you know I press buttons on that panel it'll update these lights and, and so forth these ones will update those ones so it's a quite a nice uh, hardware that uh, gives you a lot of flexibility so uh, I'll show you the inside